Hey, what's going on developers? This is Sakura Dev channel and welcome back to the Drizzle ORM comprehensive course. In this section, I'm going to teach you how you can create a one-to-one -one relation between your tables with Drizzle ORM. And in the next episode, I'm going to teach you how you can create one-to-many and many-to-many -many relations between your tables with Drizzle ORM. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to get informed about the next video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So imagine that we have a user table and also a profile table. Each user inside the users table can only have one profile and in the same time each profile can only belong to just one user. So technically we are saying that each instance of the first table can only be related to just one instance of the other side table and vice versa. So now let's create a one-to-one -one relation with Drizzle in action. I go to our project and click on the schema file. So we already have the users table, but we need to create the profile table as well. So first let me comment out this test table here. Okay, so now let's create the profile table. So I'm gonna say export const profiles and then set it to PG table function. Okay, I choose the name of the table inside our database. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the profiles for it. And then we need to define our fields inside the table. So the first one is the ID is going to be a serial. Okay, if you haven't watched the column types episode of this series, first watch it in order to understand what are the column types inside the Drizzle and Postgres. Okay, so we have a serial type and then put a ID for its name inside our table. And then I'm gonna set it to the primary key of our table. Okay, and then just we have a bio, which is going to be a varchar. And uh, let's name it just bio inside our table. And let's set its length to the 256 characters. Okay, so this is our profiles table. In one to one relationships, you have to create a firing key on one of the tables which references to the primary key of the other table. So deciding on which table you want to put your primary key is up to you. So here I'm gonna go ahead and put our firing key in the profiles table. So here I'm gonna create a user ID field, okay, and set it to integer. And then choose a name inside our table. I'm gonna go ahead and user underscore ID. And it is going to be not null. Okay, so I chain the not null function. And then I chain the references function, which takes a callback. And then it returns the users dot ID. So this user ID is our foreign key. And we are actually saying that this user ID is pointing to the primary key of the users table, which is the ID field. And note that here we should match the type of our foreign key with its reference primary key. And here you might notice that we use integer, but inside its reference, we use serial. So as you remember from the previous sections, the serial type is just an integer with the auto increment behavior. So we just need to match the types between the foreign key and our primary key. And we shouldn't use the auto increment behavior for our foreign key. So if our reference primary key is big serial, we should use big int here instead of integer. Okay, so now let me run a migration here. So let's open up our terminal. I'm gonna say npm run migrate. This is the script that we have created in our package.json file. And as you can see, it created the profiles table with three column and one FK, which stands for firing key. So let's go to the adminer and here, let's go to our Postgres database and click on the test DB. So we have the users table and let's go to the profile which has an ID bio and it has a user ID. And here, as you can see inside the firing key, it has the user ID, which references to the users dot ID. Okay, so let's go back to our VS code. We're not done yet. Let me go to our route.ts file, a API endpoint that we've created in the previous episode. So let me just comment out this select function. And here, let's say we want to find the user with its profile. So now we can use the join function or we can use the query object of the DB 
which propose another way of writing our queries which is more intuitive than the select function so here i'm going to say const result equals to await db dot query and then our users table and then it offer two function find first and find many the find first just return the first matching record from our users table and find many just return a list of users that match our criteria okay so i'm going to go ahead with the find first and then inside it we can pass an object okay and now here we can specify the width property and here with the width property which is an object we can specify which related table we are including in our query so if i hit the control space you can see the profile table is not an option as a autocomplete in the vs code it means that it's not defined in the query object so i go back to the schema.ts file and here we should use the relations function to tell the drizzle that there is a one-to-one -one relationship between the users table and profiles table so here i'm going to export a users relations object so i'm going to say export const user relations the name actually is up to you okay and now we should set it to the relations function that comes from the drizzle rm okay so as you can see here we import the relations function from the drizzle rm okay so let's go back to our user relations object okay inside the relations function first we need to specify these relations belong to which table so we are creating these relations for the user table so we specify the users here okay which is our users table and then we need to put a callback function which returns an object so here i'm going to put an arrow function which returns a object so i put a parenthesis here and then a curly braces that defines the returning object of this callback and this callback gets a argument an object that has two member a many function and also a one function so since we are going to define a one-to-one -one relationship for our users table we are going to take the function one from this object okay and now here i'm going to say that a user also has a profile so i just create a profile property again the name is up to you okay so i'm going to set it to the one function that we have just grabbed from the argument of this callback function okay and then inside the one function we should specify that the other side of one-to-one -one relationship so the table of the other side is the profiles so i'm going to specify profiles here so this profile is actually this profiles here the profiles table and then we're going to pass an object that has two property the fields which specifies the field inside the users table so it's the users.id okay and this users.id points to the user id inside the profiles so i use the references property here and here inside a list i'm going to specify the profiles that user id okay so actually we are saying that each user inside the users table is connected to one profile inside the profile table based on the user id inside the profiles table okay so now if i go to the route.ts file okay so now if i hit the control space inside the with object you can see now we have a profile that is predefined here so we can set it to just true okay and now our result object is actually a user which has the profile inside it so here if i say result dot you can see it has an address id phone and also a profile so the profile is an object and the profile also has bio id and also the user id inside it okay so now let me test it in action but first we need to put some test data inside our database so in order to save your time i pause the video and insert some test data into our profile and users table 
Okay, I use the seeding process to populate our two tables with the testing data. I will teach you how you can do that in the upcoming sections. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can subscribe now and hit the bell button in order to get informed about the upcoming sections. Okay, so now let's focus on our one-to-one -one relationship. You can see here inside the users table, we have 10 users. And now if I select the profile tables, you can see that we have 10 profiles uh, for example, the first profile is for the user with the ID of 1 and second is for the user with the ID of 2 and so on. So now let's go back to our VS Code and here let's run the query. So let's save this and run our server. Okay, npm run dev. Okay, now let's go to our Insomnia client and send a GET request to our API. And as you can see, it returns a user object with the ID of 1. It has a full name, a phone, address, score, and also it has a profile object which has the ID of 1. In the bio, it says that it's a streamer, entrepreneur, and student. Well done. And the user ID of the profile is set to 1, which says that this profile is related to this user with the ID of 1. So let's go back to our adminer and you can see the first profile in the profiles table is the same the streamer entrepreneur and student which is related to the user with the id one so in this way we can create a one-to-one -one relationship and in the upcoming sections i'm going to teach you how you can create one to many and many to many relations between the tables with drizzle or app so make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to get informed about the next video and if you like the video, please hit the like button. That will make me really happy and gives me more energy to create these tutorials for you. Have a nice time.